हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन पीस बी ऑफ ऑल यू अपॉन यू ऑल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइज हाउ टू ग्रो शेयर दिस बीनी इट्स वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी टू मेक दिस स्टिचिज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन दिस बीनी आर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू मेक यूज सिंपल ऑफकोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज स्टार्टिंग बेसिक चेन्स एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज डबल क्रोशेज एंड देन फ्रंट पोस्ट डबल क्रोशे एंड बैक पोस्ट डबल क्रोशे हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फ्रंट पोस्ट हाफ डबल क्रोशेज एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू मेक बीट स्टिचिज विच इज दैट यू मेक वन डबल क्रोशे एंड देन मेक द बीट स्टिच अराउंड द पोस्ट ऑफ दैट डबल क्रोशे आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट लेटर ऑन इन माई वीडियो एंड द यान आई वुड सजेस्ट इज टू यूज द ओमरे यान फॉर दीज राउंड एंड सम प्लेन यान फॉर दीज राउंड you can use just simple plain yarns in two different colors for these two rounds it's totally up to you it's your business it's your uh, project you are working on i made two of them i have already made this one and i am going to make this one on camera um and i will show you guys the length and the width of the beanie width of the beanie is approximately 8 inches and the length of the beanie is approximately 7 and 1/2 inches uh we make this beanie from here we start it here from the bottom and then we work it work upwards or we work uh, bottom up i have uh, added um, pom pom on this one but i did not add pom pom on this one because i think it it looks good without even pom pom because here you can see these circles uh, if i will add pom pom it will uh, if i add pom pom then of course it will hide these circles and i just wanted to show the um i just wanted to leave it like that so the pattern is shown a little bit better on the top so that's why i did not add pom pom on this one but i wanted to make as a typical beanie so that's why i added a pom pom on this one so that you guys have both uh, what you call it uh both beanies with and without uh, pom pom i'll try my best to be as detailed as i can be in my video and um, i always try to do that so i'm a little bit excited because i created my own pattern uh, out of my mind i i tried to create it and um, so let's get started the yarn i am going to use in this beanie is this one it's the same yarn uh, yarn it's same yarn the only difference is the shades the this one is in rainbow uh, shades but this one is in different shades but the uh, brand and the ply of the yarn is same and it is i will show you guys the brand as well it's this yarn it is uh, called magic light yarn by ice yarn and into the 100 gram of the yarn there is th 360 meters of the yarn uh, it's an ombre yarn you can use any uh, you are going to it's better i would suggest i would recommend to use two shades uh, two different colors of the yarn and if one of them is the ombre yarn it's even better i used ombre yarn you can use um, variegated yarn as well but um, if you have ombre yarn then i would uh, i would recommend to use ombre yarn the difference between ombre yarn and uh, variegated yarn is that in ombre yarn if you see here the color changes gradually and slowly but in uh, variegated yarn the color switches from one to another a little bit uh, quicker than uh, ombre yarn so let's get started uh, we are going to start our beanie here from the bottom for that what we are going to do is that we are going to 
that we are going to make basic chains first of all you can make as many chains as you want to just make equal numbers of the chain i mean make the chains the numbers of the chains should be uh, as many as you want to just the numbers which can be divided by two so for this beanie for the size of this beanie what i am going to do is that i am oh and i am using four millimeter crochet hook for this size what i am going to do is i'm going to make uh, i'm going to chain 60 you can use and uh, you can make as many chains as you want to which can be divided by two so i will make 60 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten the rest of the chains i would make uh, off camera and then i will resume the video again i made 60 chains but then i realized that it was not uh, the width of the beanie was not uh, uh, enough for the beanie for the size of the beanie i wanted so i made 10 more chains so here i have 70 chains now what i will do now is that i will carefully so that i don't twist these chains i will slip stitch into the first chain which is this one i will slip stitch into that like that and now i will make chain three one two and three and i will make one double crochet into the same chain the starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet so that's why we have to make one double crochet into the same uh, first chain and i will place one double crochet into each and every chain simply make one double crochet in each and every chain all the way to the end so i am at the end of this round <clears throat> what i will do now is that i will skip this starting chain three and i will slip stitch on the top of our first uh, double crochet which is this one like that and then i will make chain three one two two and three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet so what i will do now is that i will uh, convert these two uh, stitches this is the starting chain three from the last round and this is the first double crochet we will convert these two into our first front post double crochet wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the crochet hook behind the um, starting chain three and first double crochet grab your yarn and then make a double crochet we have made front post double crochet we will make a back post double crochet into the next double crochet and then front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next this is the pattern i am going to repeat i will place a front post double crochet into the next and front post uh, front post double crochet into the next and back post double crochet into the next what we are what we are doing right now is that we are creating these uh, ribbing i will uh, repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again so I am at the end of this round what I would do now is that I will skip st this starting chain 3 and I will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I will convert this uh, starting chain 3 and this front post double crochet into our first front post double crochet like that and then I will make a back post double crochet into next back post double crochet. 
front post double crochet into next front post double crochet and back post double crochet into next back post double crochet this is the pattern I am going to repeat all the way to the end I will make a front post double crochet into front post double crochet and a back post double crochet into the back post double crochet all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and what I will do now is that I will make a slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet here onto that then I will make chain 3 1 2 3 and I will repeat last round once more by making converting these two stitches into front post double crochet then I will make a back post double crochet into the next I will basically make front post double crochets into all front post double crochets and back post double crochets into all the back post double crochets all the way to the end and then we will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet and then I will resume the video again. I will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet. And then I will cut the yarn because we are going to switch to ombre yarn, secure the end and then so now what we will do we will attach this ombre yarn and for that what I will do is that you can <coughs> you can attach it anywhere on the beanie into any of these uh, double crochets and then <coughs> you can join into any of those uh, double crochets here I will join it here and then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and then what I will do is that I will make a double crochet into the next double crochet which is this one there make a double crochet and then we are going to make our bead stitch which is going to be made into this into the post of this uh, double crochet we have just made wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the crochet hook uh, clockwise from here around the post of this double crochet like that grab the yarn and pull up a loop like that do it two more times Gra uh, uh, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook insert into the uh, around the post of the double crochet grab the yarn and pull up a loop once more and then we will do like that you should end up with seven uh, loops on your crochet hook one two three four five six and seven you have seven loops on your crochet hook you are going to pull through six of them then you will have two loops on your crochet hook you will pull through all of those two like that and then your bead stitch is finished we are I will show you once or twice more and then I will make rest of the round off camera skip next double crochet this one and make a double crochet into the next like that and then wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the crochet around the post of the double crochet grab the yarn pull up a loop once twice and thrice and we have seven loops on your crochet hook we are going to pull through six of them like that we have two loops on our crochet hook we are going to pull through both of those loops and our bead stitch is ready I'm going to show once more and then I will do rest of the uh, rest of the round 
off camera. Skip next double crochet, which is this one, and make a double crochet into the next, like that, and then wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert crochet hook and around the post of this uh, double crochet grab the yarn and pull up a loop once twice and thrice you have seven loops on your crochet hook you are going to pull through six of them like that you have two loops on your crochet hook left pull through both of them and our uh, bead stitch is ready i am going to repeat this uh, pattern all the way to the end i will skip next double crochet which is this one and i will make a double crochet into the next one and then i will and then i will make a bead stitch around the post of that double crochet by um, wrapping the yarn around the crochet hook inserting uh, around the post of the double crochet grabbing the yarn pulling a loop three times and then i will have seven loops on my crochet hook i will pull through six of them and then i will pull through rest of two loops and uh, this is the pattern i'm going to repeat all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again i am at the end of this round and I have two double crochets left. I have two double crochets left. So what I will do, I will skip next double crochet and make one double crochet into the next. And then I will complete my bead stitch. Like that. And then I will skip this chain three and i will push these uh, loops of the bead stitch of, uh, of our first bead stitch i will push them a little bit down and i will slip stitch on the top of our first uh, double crochet that we made this chain three does not count as our first double crochet so that's why this double crochet is being skipped and we made a slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet now what i am going to do is this is optional but why i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a stitch marker and i'm going to place it inside this loop and then pull it the only purpose of doing this is that uh, it's not that we are marking any stitch it's because we are going to drop this yarn and we are going to work uh, with our gray yarn so that's why i did that so that when we are working with the gray yarn this uh, work does not unravel so what i will do now is that i will join my gray yarn you can join it anywhere you want to you can join it anywhere you want to i am going to join it into this uh, double crochet like that and then I will sorry I am going to join around this double crochet I'm going to push the loops of the uh, bead stitch a little bit down so our double crochet is exposed here I will insert the crochet hook I will insert the crochet hook from behind into that double crochet like that front post double crochet uh, sorry front post uh, what you call it join and then I will join the yarn and then I will make chain two one and two and then I will make our front post half double crochet around the post of this double crochet like that and then i will make half double crochet front post half double crochet around the uh, bead stitch we have a little bit <coughs> excuse me i have this uh, gap between double crochet and uh, 
what you call it bead stitch I'm going to insert my crochet hook into that gap like that and then uh, insert the crochet hook into the front grab the uh, bead stitch with your middle finger and with your thumb grab the yarn and then make a front post half double crochet like that again I will I will push the loops of the bead stitch a little bit down and then I will make a front post half double crochet around the double crochet and then front post front post half double crochet around the bead stitch as well like that I will show you guys once more and then I will do rest of the round off camera I will insert the crochet hook I will push the loops of the uh, bead stitch a little bit down so that um, uh, this double crochet is visible more visible and then I will make a front post half double crochet around the post of that double crochet and then I will make front post half double crochet around the bead stitch as well I will insert the crochet hook into the gap between this double crochet and this uh, bead stitch I will insert it into that and then insert it back to the front grab the loops of the bead stitch with your uh, middle finger and your uh, thumb grab the yarn and pull through all of those three loops and here it is it's almost done uh, you are going to repeat this pattern by making one front post half double crochet around the double crochet and one front post half double crochet around the bead stitch all the way to the end I am here where we have made a chain, starting chain 3 in last round we are not going to make any stitches into that because that does not count as our uh, stitch that that does not count as our uh, first double crochet so in I will skip that and I will go direct into next available double crochet and work uh, into that I am at the end of this round and now I will slip stitch on the top of our first front post half double crochet like that and then I will cut the yarn and um, I will pick up the other yarn like that make chain 3 1 2 3 and make a double crochet into next uh, this is the top of our bead stitch I am going to make a double crochet into that and then I will make a bead stitch 1 2 and 3 you have 7 loops on your crochet hook grab through 6 of them and then grab through last two of them and then this is the top of our uh, double crochet we made in last round and this is the top of our bead stitch so I am going to make a double crochet I'm going to skip this double crochet and make a double crochet on the top of our bead stitch it means that we are making bead stitch on the top of every bead stitch we are not going to make any stitches on the top of our double crochets so I will complete my bead stitch two, three like that so our second bead stitch is ready repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then I will resume the video again I am at the end of this round and I'm going to do what we did uh, here I am going to skip this uh, chain 3 and always remember that our last be uh, bead stitch will be made into our last uh, double crochet before the ch starting chain 3 because this does not count as our first double crochet so we are going to skip it 
and I am going to slip stitch I'm going to push the loops of the bead stitch a little bit down and I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then I will remove the crochet hook and I will place the stitch marker into that and then we will do I'm sorry my yarn got stuck and then we we will do what we did here that we will push the loops little bit pu uh, loops of the bead stitch little bit down insert the crochet hook from the behind into the double crochet and grab the yarn and slip st uh, make chain two one and two and make a front post of half double crochet around the post of this double crochet around the post of this double crochet there and then one front post uh, I made a front post half double crochet around this double crochet and then I'm going to make a front post half double crochet uh, around the bead stitch as well and I am going to repeat this pattern same I as I did here and then uh, I will make I will make a front post half double crochet around the a front post half double crochet around the post of this double crochet and then front post half double crochet around this uh, bead stitch and I will do that all the way to the end when I reach here I will slip stitch on the top of our first front post half double crochet and then I will cut the yarn and I will repeat these two rounds I will repeat uh, these two rounds as many times as you need to I think I am going to repeat for six times I have already made two times I'm going to make four more times and then I will see if I need to add more rounds or not because it depends on the length of the beanie I want the decreasing rounds are going to be three so I have made total five rounds in uh, bead stitches one two three four five now we will start working on our decreasing round for that what I will do is I will make chain three one two three and I will skip next uh, the, uh, this is uh, what you call it top of our uh, bead stitch I am going to skip that and into the next one this one I am going to make a double crochet like that and then I will complete my bead stitch one two and three pull through six of them and then rest of the two loops skip next two double uh, two uh, this is the top of the uh, bead stitch and this is the top of next double crochet I'm going to skip next two stitches and into the next I am going to make a bead stitch I will make a double crochet and then complete the bead stitch one two and three pull through six of them and then rest of uh, the loops skip next two double uh, two stitches this one and this one and into the next make a bead stitch one two three and that repeat this pattern all the way to the end skip next two stitches this one and this one and make a bead stitch into the next all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should have one unworked uh, what you call it double crochet left and we already have one here so we will slip stitch on the top of our double crochet and 
and then what we will do is that we are going to repeat this uh, what you call it round for that we are going to attach our gray yarn into any of the stitches like that chain 2 make front post half double crochet into this double crochet and front post half double crochet around the bead stitch repeat this pattern all the way to the end I don't have to explain it um, in details because I have already explained it with the, all the details and all that so I'm going to just uh, make it off camera and then I will resume the video again I have completed this uh, round with the gray yarn <coughs> gray yarn what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to pick up pick the other yarn up and I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I will skip this double crochet the next double crochet and I will make a bead stitch into the next like that skip next two stitches this one and this one and make us a bead stitch into the next one two three like that I will show you guys once more skip next two stitches and make a bead stitch into the next skip this one and this one and into the next make one bead stitch one two three and complete it repeat this pattern all the way to the end uh, skip next two stitches this one and this one this one and this one and make a bead stitch into the next all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and at the end of this round I have two uh, stitches left before this uh, starting uh, chain 3 and it's okay I am going to slip stitch on the top of our double crochet And now I will repeat this round off camera so that I can save some time. I will remove this stitch marker and then I will make chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and I will I will skip this next stitch and I will make a bead stitch into the next like that double crochet and then complete your bead stitch like that skip next two stitches skip this one and this one and into the next make a bead stitch one two and three repeat this pattern all the way to the end by skipping next two stitches this one and this one and make a bead stitch into the next all the way to the end now I have three stitches uh, left what I will do is that I will skip these two stitches and I will make a, a bead stitch into the la uh, yeah into the last stitch before the chain three sometimes if you end up with an extra stitch or if you are missing a stitch you can just uh, what you call it uh, it's called make it fake it or make it so sometimes you can just fake it if there is a stitch is missing or a stitch is made extra so i am going to slip stitch on the top of our double crochet and then i will repeat this round I will repeat this round 
and then I will resume the video again. Sorry, I made a mistake here because this was our last uh, bead uh, round, uh, bead stitch round. So what I am going to do is I am going to fasten off this yarn <coughs> and I will start working with the gray yarn. For that in this round what we are going to do is You can join the gray yarn anywhere I will join here and this time instead of making what you call it uh, uh, half double crochet I am going to make front post double crochets into each and every into this uh, double crochet and also this uh, bead stitch front post double crochet into the into them like that I am going to repeat this round by making front post double crochet into this into this uh, double crochet and also around the uh, bead stitch all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet front post double crochet which is this one I am going to skip this starting chain 3 and uh, slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet and then I will cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn like that and then turn the beanie inside out grab this end of the yarn and now I will sew the top of the uh, beanie what we are going to do is that we are going to close this hole thread the needle with the yarn like that and then it's very simple that you are going to zigzag like that it's not difficult at all it's very simple <coughs> like that And then pull this strand as hard as you can and then make couple of knots I will do rest of the um, knots and all that off camera so I th so that I can save some time and then I will resume my video again so our beanie is almost finished this is how it looks from the sides and this is how it looks from the top without attaching any pom-pom and now what I am going to do is that I am going to do the hardest part of the crochet and that is that I am going to hide these ends I am going to weave in ends uh, and uh, so that our beanie looks more neat and uh, it gets the that finishing look and I will do rest of these uh, strands off camera and uh, then I will resume the video again so after weaving all the ends this is how our beanie looks like from the top 
and this is how it looks from the sides so I have made a pom-pom and added it on the top of this beanie I'm not good at making pom-pom that's why I always make them off camera because I'm not good at all at making pom-pom but still I, I tried uh, to make one and then I attached it on the top of this beanie so now our beanie is finished this is how it looks when uh, it's finished please ignore the pom-pom <laughs> and um, uh, I tried my best I tried my level best to explain everything with the details and I hope there was nothing missing there was no confusing part in my video and it was easy to follow and it was uh, detailed uh, if there is something that you guys did not understand or if there is something that is confusing or I need to improve about my video please comment below and I will try my level best to help you guys I'm ready to take the critic it's okay and sometimes critic helps you to improve uh, whatever you are doing Thank you so much for watching. Peace be upon you all and happy crocheting.